Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi again everyone, some baseball history tonight at Mountain Dew Park in Marion. First ever game for the Thrillville Thrillbillies. Let's go ahead and check out some of the activity before the game fans. They were there early and then here they come getting some t-shirts, having a good time. Ralph Santana, remember the Miners great now is the Thrillbillies manager. Good to see him back and his team. Those uh, burnt orange uniforms and then a little surprise for the fans. The helicopter landing on Mountain Dew Field and what's going on? Who's coming out of there? Got to be somebody important. How about the mascot? Ryder pops out. By the way, Ryder would also play the national anthem on the guitar. So pretty cool night all the way across there. Now getting back to the baseball side with Ralph Santana. He talked about taking over as manager for the Thrillbillies. I'm a lucky man right now to see uh, just these kids grow up and give them a chance to play here and have a hometown feel and a hometown vibe. And, you know, I told him, look, y'all saw the way I played. I expect no different. I expect you to go hard. I expect you to have a good time and I expect you to have fun. And he was definitely a crowd favorite with the Miners, a Hall of Famer. Now both teams on the field before the game, big crowd, then, hey, I'll tell you, the lines were long at the concession stands. That's the first pitch of the game right there. And taking on those Rockabillies in prospect league action, the Jackson Rockabillies, and they would actually score first as they would score in the first inning to lead one to nothing. But the Thrillbillies would get out of there without any further trouble. Nice play right there. Pick it up, step on that bag, and move on a little bit, right? And then... Hey, things would get a lot better if you're a Thrillbillies fan. A base hit for Jackson McCoy. That's the first one in franchise history right there. Drops it in the field. So now you saw the first hit. We'll move ahead later in the game and looking for the first RBI and run. Ashton Smith out of DuCoin brings it in. Thrillbillies. They go on and win. They win their opener 5-3. to three. Nice victory for them in front of a big crowd. Nice night. What more can you say? Well, I can say this, the Cape Catfish also opening up in the Prospect League. That's right, under new manager Scott Little, they were on the road at O'Fallon, and Cape Catfish get the win, 7-5. to five. Scott Little, the manager, congratulations. He gets his first win, first of many. I bet on that. He's a good baseball man, and he gets himself a nice one as they win, 7-5. to five. Congratulations to the Cape Catfish. They'll be opening up over the weekend. Meanwhile, talking some high school baseball, Final Four action, Portageville playing South Callaway in a Class 3 semifinal. We're out to Ozark for the highlights. Second inning, Portageville didn't take them long to score. They get one right there, the base hit. They were in control for much of this game, but sometimes easier said than done. Callaway would rally late with a bunch of runs. They win 9-4. Now, Portageville will play for third place against Barstow. And that game set for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Also in Class 6, Jackson plays Francis Howell. Semifinals Friday at 4. The championship game takes place Saturday night at 7. Now after a monster stretch of games without a day off, the Cardinals finally get a break. St. Louis will return to the Diamond on Friday at Pittsburgh. And I'll tell you, that's a much needed break in that they squeeze that last win out over the Royals. And finally... We finish up with a couple of track and field signings at Poplar Bluff. First up, congratulations to Matthew Wilkerson for signing a national letter of intent with Missouri Baptist University. Wilkerson had six top five finishes in the pole vault. And congrats to Brandon Dodd as well for also signing on with Missouri Baptist University. Dodd was a state qualifier in the 300 meter hurdles and the four by 200 meter relay. Congratulations to both of these athletes and good luck guys at the next level.